Think fast, Chuckle Nuts! Hello everyone, Praise Good here, and think fast, it is Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon 2. The first Bloodstained, high res, low res duology that happened a while ago, apparently worked out so well that we got a low res sequel. I'm probably saying these words in the incorrect manner that make no sense, trust me it makes sense. Anyway. So. Well. This is the PC version of the game. Sorry, I'm a little frazzled at the moment. This is the PC version of the game. PC's, PC version, PC options. Considering everything's super pixelated, as you can obviously tell, this is all you've got to work with. I'm just playing on four times resolution, which screen size roughly is about a 1600 by 900 window on PC. So it's fairly large size, which if you want to have more classical feel, you can downsize to like, you know, a 240p window. Anyway. Enough, enough goofing about. Let's head into the game. And as we head in, what is the Think Fast series? Basically, I start... Sure. I play a game as if... Oh, let's just play veteran. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Anyway, uh, Think Fast... The Think Fast series is basically... I sit down with the game for 15 to 45 minutes, playing it as if I just opened it up from a physical package and give you folks my thoughts on the game based on that time alone. Anyway, let's do some story. Sengetsu, the peerless swordsman from the east, crossed paths with the f f his fellow travelers on his quest for revenge. They overcame perilous battles and forged deep bonds, ultimately working together to strike down the demonic threat they pursued. However, the journey was not yet complete. Dominique, an exorcist sent by the church, who has sworn to revenge? Who has sworn to revenge against the demon kind? Hello, spread word of a tower of unknown origins. It is said to be constructed using methods once thought impossible for man to achieve. It is known by the church as the Demon Tower. Eloquent. As if called forth by the tower itself, the demon's castle appeared once again. Is this a curse of fate, or the whim of the moon? Zangetsu's blade flashed in the moonlight once more as the demon's stronghold beckoned. And if it wasn't obvious, this game is very much a parallel to Castlevania, uh, classic Castlevania games. And I say there was like a duology of high res, low res a while ago. Uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon? No, wait, we're playing Curse of the Moon 2. Sorry, I, I'm getting my everything mixed up. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon was kind of its own standalone title, which ended up... I'm going to pause for a second so I can get my thoughts straight. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon was its kind of its own standalone title, but one of the characters in that, Miriam, went on to star in her own game, which I've covered on this series. Uh, dang it, I forget the name of it. Uh, Scooter Nighting will throw it up for me. But she had her own 3D new, new school Castlevania style uh, adventure. When I say new school, what I mean is, you know... Um, uh, sorry, I'm pressing up to walk. Uh, I feel like my blade just got upgraded. Anyway. Oh, there's something down there. Hold on. Can I go back? Nope. Maybe that's that loop 2 stuff. Never mind. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, what is it? It had a... It, it was a... It was... It was a new school... Okay, that does nothing. It was a new school style game... New, stu uh, new school style Castlevania game that very much uh, ooh, secrets in the wall that very much played off of new school ad action adventure Metroidvania style adventure game but it seems like I said before, it seems that I hate you I hate you so much um, it seems that it uh oh, nice it seems like the low-res version got enough enough love and attention that it basically war had warranted its own sequel. Now, whether Miriam or somebody else who is not Zengetsu gets th their own sequel to the high-res version, this is going to drive me nuts. I almost want to like stop and look it up, but I'm not going to. 
Um, can I break that? Nope. Hi. Oh, I have to crouch stage you? Fair enough. But yeah, like, I wonder if, like, there'll be enough that warrant that uh, somebody gets their own 3D sequel. That's the words I should be using. 3D. It's not Bloodstained Circle of the Moon, is it? I hope not. Anyway, it reads, Message is written in blood. It seems you can use some of with the Y button. However, that would require weapon points. Destroy webs, flam Yeah, basically hearts from classic Castlevania stuff. I should have, like, seen what that was before I just went crazy with the jumpy and the shooty. All right, that does affect those, but I don't know if I want to waste weapon points on that. I do when I get this. Also, that's, annoy that's annoying me a little bit as I see it happening in the upper right corner. Also looking for secrets. That is annoying me in the upper left corner. I like how I say upper right. That there is a push button to join. It seems that this game has a co has a co-op uh, co -op feature to it. Go away. I could just leave you alone. Although I do like this diagonal ball and chain. Yeah, I'm just going to leave you alone while I take take my jumpies. Okay, that's a one-way path. Never mind. I was like, wait, how can I get in there? There is like a... there a lot. These games actually do have like a loop two you can do. Where where somebody from the main cast, uh, in the first circle of the moon... Yeah, sure, we'll do that. In the first circle of the moon game... In the first circle of the moon game, Zangetsu became, became uh, possessed. And basically became a demon himself. And so loop two was going to fight Zangetsu. Where you use basically everybody else you met throughout the uh, first... The, you, all the party members that you met throughout your adventures in the first game. So have fun with that knowledge. No? What's this? Oh, I got my ball. I didn't want that back, man. Well, I got it back now. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna move on. Uh, get hit. I am very low health, by the way. By the way, it's classic Castlevania difficulty, so it's gonna be a little. Never mind. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not almost dead. Um, it is classic Castlevania difficulty, so there is gonna be moments where I'll just probably die. I didn't want to do that, but okay. Here, hold that. I guess the game does provide. Although I do like the. Uh, there are some weapons. Some weapons I like more than others. I think this void thing. I kind of like this thing, because it actually is... It does play more to like how my style, how I play. I'll jump first before I attack or try and duck and dodge, so... And this right here is, I guess, why they want you to have it. Here, hold that. Hold that again. Hm. One would say I should fight it normally. Yes? Go that way? Skellerbob says go that way. I'm glad Skellerbob's back from the... Back from first game. Oh, he had, he had no purpose in the first game other than saying, Go this way, please, dummy. It's just nice that he's back. Uh, healing? Okay, healing. Uh, that does replace, dang it. I didn't realize it would replace. Well, I've got an upward angle slash now. Or an upward angle. That was cool. I caught that in the background at the last second of that demon swooping down. That was cool. But yeah, this is by Inti Creates, and Inti, Inti Creates, even though they've had a couple rough moments with uh, Azure Striker here and there, it actually, they are actually really good, de like, really good uh, classic slash pixelated game devs. Health bar? Oh. You're gonna shoot. Uh, thanks. Okay, that does nothing. Well, I'm gonna waste all this first. Where are you going to go now? Moving. I tried to move. Didn't work out so well. Okay, so you can only be hurt once your mouth is open. Moving now. That was pro. Yeah, I waited too long. Can I get another hit on you up there? No, I cannot. Mm, I wonder what the fast kill. Because there's a lot of times there is a fast kill for these fights. Moving. Maybe if I actually got underneath him there, I could have done it. Now we have to leave. One of these times I'll get it. Hey, you want to come over here where I can hit you? Leaving. This isn't that bad. Just don't do anything stupid. Bring your head down. I'm going to race it. Yeah, there we go. Getting brave. Wait. 
Oh, desperation attack. Uh, oh. Uh. I got a one up. That was fun. I have a friend now that helped, though. Well, unlike the first game, it seems that you are forced to take along more friends. You're too slow, Sangetsu. I felt the target before you. You have some tr nerve using me as a decoy. Come on, come on. I have no choice. You are the only person I could really rely on for this. Let me lend you my strength, and we shall slay those demons together. I have faith in you, Zangetsu. <laughs> so in the first game, you could choose to either kill potential allies or rescue them. Oh, we're Dominique now. New abilities can... Okay, so you can switch bumpers... So, Dominique's thing is spears, jumps. She can jump high. She is the higher jump of the two. She can strike up and she can pogo. She can pogo. Her spear strikes are really deliberate, though. Like, even slower than Sangetsu's, like. Oh. She heals. So, like, even her spear. Like, her spear strikes are even more deliberate. So, I guess that using her would be more for traversal and pogoing on things. But, yeah, oddly enough, and this isn't like coincidence, Dominique is actually the Dominique from the game where you play as Miriam. So, it's the same character. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute that they have a little back and forth there. Alright, so let's get some stuff back. I don't know what I just picked up. I don't know what I just picked up. Although, that, okay, that tells me that this game does respond pretty well. Okay, I remember, it's Castlevania rules, so I have to... Well, I'm not getting that right now. Unless... I want it! Okay. So these enemies don't, uh... These enemies don't, uh, reward... These enemies don't necessarily reward tactics. Also, she's almost dead already. So Zangetsu, take over for a little bit. <laughs> uh, you want me to go that way? Uh, no, I didn't want. I wanted to see if she could do anything about that. Well, I'm an idiot. Well, I can full heal myself, but that's fine. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like that I'm sinking. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a stage where it's just like, hey, play as Dominique, lol. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Yeah, this is definitely a level that's like designed to like show the... Okay, I'll go up. After I regain this. Actually. No, I can't get across that. It's a shallow thing. No... Listen, this is not how Fire Emblem works. Spears do not be axes. Usually. Actually, can I just... Hey, no, 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 don't go run away. Don't run away. Yeah, I can just stab you from underneath. Why am I trying to do this the hard way? If I was playing on Legend difficulty, that uh, that definitely would have killed me. But yeah, how the uh, how this, diffi this difficulty I'm playing right now, this, uh, this uh, veteran difficulty, basically... It's like classic Castlevania uh, physics still, but like if I kill an enemy, the enemy's dead. And if I lose, uh, and if I lose somebody, I won't fully game over. They they act like a life losing one person. Oh, well, I guess I get to show it off now. Yep, like that. So, for at least for now, Dominique is dead. Well, I goofed up and I don't have a high jumper anymore. Okay. How did I know that was going to be your thing? Also, I thought I could, like, ju like, jump or pogo across the poison swamp, but I guess that was a lie. And now I just have to deal with all this. Man, it would be a shame if I had not wasted Dominique's life so I could actually, you know, 
stab these guys from underneath without much worry. Uh, slash? Okay, cool. I can slash that. Ow. Man, if only I had somebody who had the reach to slash at that. Unfortunately, no such character exists in this game. That hurts, and it sucks. That That's a falling platform. Stop reminding me of the fact I don't have her anymore. Falling platform. Crumble blocks. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. Please stop using spiders against me. Okay, cool. Cool talk. I can be somewhat patient. All right. Just got to be a little bit patient. As patient as I can possibly be walking on platforms. Secret? Secret! Oh, Domini can bounce up all this. Well, it does not suck. I could have gotten something nice if I just wasn't stupid. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm incredibly stupid. Holy cow, am I stupid. That definitely signals to me checkpoint. Uh, what's in here? No, thank you. Oh, it's just... It just billows. Got it. This won't be that bad. Yeah, this won't be that bad a tackle. Just a little bit of forethought before moving forward. Uh, oh, there's a there's a thing here. I was like, wait, how do I go forward? Perish. Yeah, this wasn't that wasn't too bad. I'm waiting for the time that like I'm waiting for like somebody to come along and be like, how'd you do that? That's supposed to be impossible. Oh, good, Medusa heads. My favorite. No. Uh, cool. Well, at least they they give us a source where they spawn from now. Ow. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'll just duck underneath those ones. That's cool with you. And I know you're gonna spit out two more. Now more. No, you're not gonna spit out more. Okay, fair enough. But I will say, like, even though this game is very, like, very well animated, very well everything, I'm dead, dead. Even though this game is very well animated and all that jazz, it's, uh, it's not without its, that's what I want. Uh, even though the game is very well animated and everything, like, it's not without its, uh, downside. Like, I don't know if this is going to be the same issue as it was with, uh, ouch. I don't know if this is going to be the same issue that was with, uh, the original game. Hey, I got one up. I don't know what this, if this will be the same issue that plagued the original game. But it's the first game, the first circle of the moon was really, or curse of the moon was really short. Stop that. I don't know, I don't know what I was trying to do there, but that wasn't it apparently. Now stop. Okay, she doesn't get low enough for me to see if that's what the case actually is. Anyway, I would like to keep this, if I may. Choose a direction. I'm sorry, but you cannot double backdash away from me anymore. What is that? Well, whatever it is, I can't jump. Oh. Oh, I have more will. Uh, oh. I wish I knew what this thing was. Hello? So a weapon that disappears once you use revives all allies and restores health. Oh! So that's basically a... That's basically a last resort use item. Got it. And they're still gonna try to make me use that. But yeah, like, I think one... Like, I could be wrong. Ah, dang it. I, I could be wrong, but like, the first game was like five stages long. Granted, it emulated, you know, the original Castlevania very faithfully, so... That game wasn't very long, so... It, your mileage will vary. Use it at your own discretion. How you want to, however you want to play this, or in what fashion. Health? I like health. Dead enemies? I like dead enemies. Dang it! I didn't want this. Can I have healing? Thanks. All right, Dominique, show him what's up. 
Uh, hold down to attack. Uh, I don't like the miasma. We're just phasing through. Ah. Uh, I see. A moth succubus geisha. You know, I thought I'd seen everything in the world. I was wrong. Something's gonna hit me pretty quick here. Uh. You know, this? This? This actually is pretty safe? Oh, shoot. I should have... I wanted to switch characters, but I didn't, didn't catch it in time. So if I use this... Yeah, it takes a while, but you do get my characters back. And I do want that slip, actually. Let's grind up this stuff back, even because I would like it, because I'm going to die probably during this fight, too. I should watch my character health while I do this. Oh, but I have to go through this same song and dancing. Come on. Well, how about the same cutscene again, but this time with Zangetsu. Oh, it, it saves boss health? That's cool. That is super smart and I love it. Let's run away from that. Uh... Okay, hey, those platforms, can I get on them? I'm trying to get on these platforms. Well, that works. All right, desperation attack, moving. Anywhere but the center, I feel. And saved at the last minute. By... I wish I could tell who that is, but by some dude. Oh my god, he smokes. He, that means he's cool. Well, if it isn't Sengetsu, glad I could see out of the, out of the old war buddy or see my old war buddy. Who could still hold on his, hold his own? <sighs> could say the same to you. You seem just as sharp as ever. Seeing as we share a common enemy, would you give me the honor of fighting alongside you once again? I'm not so sure an ordinary human will be of much use in the battle against demons, but more help is appreciated. Welcome aboard. You're one of the church's people. Sorry as gets you, but there's no way I can trust someone from the church. Robert, don't misunderstand. I don't know what your grudge you, you bear, but she is needed in this battle. <sighs> I'll trust your judgment, but I'll leave my bull in the chamber should she raise my suspicions at all. It will find its way into her back. Mmm, uneasy allies. I love it. I don't. But I love it. But I don't. But I love it. So, Robert. Wait. Why would you not use this guy? He just has infinite range. He just has infinite range. Prone mode? Oh, he can crawl. So he can just chill on walls? Can he just? He can't multiple sit, but he can. He can hop on walls. He's actually a sniper. I don't believe it. Well, let's go to the next screen. Yeah, this game might have the same. Oh. Well, she tried to make amends. This game might have the same issue that the last game had in that. Uh, it's only like five stages long. But anyway. I think I'm gonna actually end things here. I'm gonna end things here just because, you know, it's been going on long enough. You kinda of get a feeling for what Curse of the Moon 2 is. So, if you folks are curious about Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2, wanna know what systems available on, how much it will cost you, anything of that sort, that is all in the description down below. But that's gonna be it for me for now. Thank you all so much for watching this initial reactions, and I hope you'll come back again when I'll react to a new title for the very first time. You folks have a great rest of your day, and take care.